Hey everybody, Ryan Medora here, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a groove breakdown for you. This is going to be based upon Maureen's Groove, aka Fifth Avenue North. Uh, this is a groove that I did as a thank you to the people who support my Patreon page. Um, so if you like what I do and you want to support and you want to have a groove made just for you, you can contribute to that, um, or else you can just enjoy this video. Um, so what we're going to do is I'll play the groove for you and then I'll break down how I came up with it, the techniques that I use, and uh, hopefully let you be able to learn how to play it yourself. <laughs> So first things first, I'm in the key of D. Um, that seems to be a key that I've enjoyed playing in lately. Um, and what I did was I decided to come up with a phrase that was a three note phrase that I wanted to be the basis for the groove. I started with two beats played here on the root note, or sometimes I'll play the root in the octave. But that one end matches the kick drum pattern that the drummer is playing. So whenever I start playing a groove, I like to think about what the kick drum is doing. And I try to match that because that instantaneously lets you lock in. It tells the drummer, hey, I'm listening to you. And it really helps unite the rhythm section. Then to get my phrasing, I'll do one of my favorite things, which you find in all kinds of funk and R&B records, which is moving from the second scale degree chromatically to the major third. So what you do is if here's your root note in the key of D, here's your octave, you jump up to the second scale degree, or the ninth, you can think of it that way, and you just go two, sharp two, three. And that triplet is a very, very common thing, like I said, in a lot of different records. Or And frankly, you can just play that and have a good time. Um, but to keep going with this, what I like to do is rephrase that where I'm playing again a triplet phrase that goes three notes in an ascending pattern. So you see I went here, three notes ascending, three notes ascending, three notes ascending. And then that second phrase is going to go five, six, flat seven. So this lets me really outline the dominant chord, and it sounds super funky. And then the last part is going to be root, minor third, major third. The key is to get this thing where you're taking three similar phrases rhythmically, but you're just changing the notes. That's a very uh, cool and melodic kind of thing to do. So the next part of the groove, just to kind of provide an ending to it, um, once I'm here, I realize I'm going to go and play the lower sixth here, the fifth, the sixth again, and then come back to the root. And I'm really being active with my right hand, so you'll hear me throwing in a couple of dead notes here and there. Um, and that's the basic framework for that first part of the groove. So once I play that a couple times, I switch what I'm doing to uh, a kind of a chromatic thing where I'll play um, something that I, is very reminiscent of what George Porter Jr. would play from the meters. Um, it's just a very funky chromatic thing where you're playing the root note, you jump down to the third, right? So um, if you were to go up, you'd find that F sharp, but so I'm going here, and then, once I'm here, I'm using my 4th fret span, and I'm just going chromatically up to the 5th scale degree. 
And then I do the same exact thing going from the sixth back to the one. It just sounds a lot funkier because uh, you just decide where you're going to place notes. And you can kind of get creative rhythmically with this. So um, you can decide to play certain notes once or twice or throw in a dead note. I like to just be inspired by whatever the drummer is doing. Um, and then you can do exactly the same thing, but an octave higher, so now you're going to reach this third here. And you can again go chromatically from the third scale degree to the fifth, and then the sixth to the octave. Alright, so another thing that you can do is you can kind of jump up and come back down. So let's say I'm moving up. like that where I'm playing the 7th scale degree, the 6th, the 5th, so kind of the backwards thing of what I was doing earlier at the beginning of the groove. I'm playing six, seven, six, five, four, minor 3rd, major 3rd root. And that's just like general funk awesomeness. Um, so here's the groove played in its entirety and uh, I hope you're able to follow along and play it with me.